Here we go, the championship final in the women's steeplechase, an all-championship afternoon for you. And this, of course, the first event on the track, and it will be followed by some relay activity for by one group. Monica Kakabin is the early leader here, sophomore from UC San Diego. Janetta Murray from Cal Poly Pomona. And Roy becomes the first man over at six, six and three quarters. Roy, the sophomore from Cal Poly Pomona with the clearance at that height. And at this point, he's the only man over at that height. And we prepare for the first water jump in this steeplechase. There are 28 barriers and seven times through the water. Kakabeen continues at the front. She's got a best of 11-18 this year. Folderger running in the red. Uh, Warriors is Stanislaus is in second. Kakabine and then it is Holdiger and then it looks like uh, Paxton Toda, San Francisco State on the inside running in the equal third position. Jacobine, Foldiger, Coda, and then defending champion Amy Schnitzer in, in equal third at this point in time. She's on the outside, Coda on the inside. And then Natalie Galvan in close attendance as well. She's running in fifth and then there's a Foldiger accelerates into the water jump and opens up what uh, for a moment was a four or five meter lead. It's now getting closed back down again, but an aggressive water jump for Denali Foldiger gives her the lead. <laughs> Women's prelims in the triple jump have finished. Boldiger and Schnicker, they were number one and number three a year ago, running shoulder to shoulder here at the front. And uh, then just behind them, Natalie Galvan, the junior from Chico State. She's the other woman who has a mark under 11 minutes in this field. She's running in third. Stanislaus, and then Natalie Galvan from Chico State. 
Stitkers won the last chase competition here in the CCAA. And as we indicated during the introduction, she's been in the three steepler in the country with a best of 10 and 25 97. And she now, with four laps to go, beginning to open up a bit of a lead. Six, eight and three quarters is where the high jump bar goes. Roy, the only man left in the competition for Cal Poly Pomona, jumping by himself at six, eight and three quarters. Back on the track, Schnitger now with about five meters on her teammate, and Natalie Galvan with Foldinger running in third, and then Paxton Coda of San Francisco State in the fourth position. Schnitger asserting herself here. She's won the last several conference titles in the steeplechase. Then it is her teammate, Natalie Galvan. Schnitger a senior, Galvan a junior. Holdiger running along in third. Paxton Cody in fourth. And then Haley Swanson of Chico State giving the Wildcats three here in the top five. She's running in fifth at the moment. Schnitker has strung this field out pretty effectively here. You can see the lead that she has amassed, and then it is Galvan, Foldiger, Coda. Good battle for four, but that's about the only place where drama is occurring at the moment. It's those three women in that position over the water jump. Two to go for our leader, Amy Schnitker, and she gets to the finish line. High jump bar stays at six, eight, and three quarters. And Roy jumping alone has one jump remaining at this height. He comes in with a lifetime best of six, six, and three quarters. The sophomore from Cal Poly Pomona. One jump left here at six, eight, and three quarters. Two for the Wildcats of Chico State here, leading this women's steeplechase, Schnitker and Galvan. And now Haley Swanson makes it three at the front. Swanson moves to the front of that pack of four as they approach the water jump. Schnitker taking a look to see how teammates are doing. Certainly not much concern on her part as she's got a lap to go. Galvan Swanson. 24 more points for Chico State at this point. If nothing changes over the course of the last lap, then it is Coda. And Alexander.
Katie Sanger is running in the number five position. So here comes Amy Schnitger, just a single barrier between her and the finish line. Schnitger attempting to become the second consecutive Aptos resident to win a CCA title is Nash Howe, who just won the javelin, also hails from Aptos. Here is Schnitger. This is now Haley Swanson coming off the turn in second. Schnitger turns to take a look at what's going on behind her 11.05 approximately for the win. Now it is Swanson. Paxton Cota, a nice finish for San Francisco State. Looks like she will be third, and then it is going to be Denali Folger, the Stanislaus senior, finishing in fourth. Next across the line is going to be Katie Sanger from Humboldt State. Let's go, Alex. Let's go.